Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Luke Beller. So in the past couple days, it came out from the NFL that just like in 2020, the NFL is allowing players to hold out for 2021, you know, because of COVID and everything, if they want to. So that option is now available in 2021 as well. And you may be wondering, like, why does this pertain to Aaron Rodgers at all? Um, but here's the thing with the situation with Aaron Rodgers. So if he does decide to hold out, he's going to lose tons of money. And, you know, with this option, he would save about 18 to $20 million. So I'm going to break that down sort of how that would be possible um, in this video. If you guys are new here, you want to see more Packers content, Packers news, this channel, this YouTube channel is all solely for Packers content. So if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe to the channel uh, down below and like the video as well. So it came up from Tom Pelissero on June 23rd. He said NFL players have until 4 p.m. Eastern next Friday, July 2nd, to inform their team if they're opting out of the 2021 season per source. Higher risk players for COVID again are entitled to a $350,000 stipend. Voluntary opt outs get nothing. Last year, their stipend was $150,000. So here's a scenario for Aaron Rodgers why it could make sense for him to opt out in this way before July 2nd. So if right now he is sitting at home and, and thinking to himself, I'm going to hold out for 2021. Obviously, we don't know what he's thinking. Maybe in his mind, he's set on playing for the Packers in 2021 and he just hasn't come out and you know gotten everything you know figured out yet. Um, but if he were potentially thinking in his mind, I'm going to hold out, this option for him now would save him about $20 million in 2021. So here's a little excerpt from an article I found on Pro Football Network. They sort of broke down the numbers um, and sort of why he would save $20 million if he were to opt out as opposed to holding out if he were to want to hold out. So they say the benefit to doing so comes from the fact that he would not forfeit $11.5 million in unearned signing bonus money for 2021 if he opts out. Also, he presumably would still receive the payments on the $6.8 million roster bonus that he earned in March, and that is due to be paid out in weekly installments during the season. That's $18.3 million that he'll keep by opting out. If he doesn't opt out but holds out, he loses that $18.3 million and would be fined roughly $2 million on top of it for skipping training camp. So overall, um, if he holds out, he would lose at that $18 million. Um, and then if he were to, you know, he would also be fined that $2 million. So that would be $20 million that Aaron Rodgers would not get to have by holding out um, in 2021. Whereas if he were to be a COVID opt-out, he would save that $20.3 million. So I just thought this was really interesting. At first, I wasn't going to make a video about it, but I thought it was sort of important just because it is something that you know, I feel like we should keep our eyes on in the next week or so because he would have to decide to do this by July 2nd. So if he really was, as some people are saying, like thinking about potentially, you know, wanting so bad to not play, the, play for the Packers that he would hold out, this would save him $20 million. The thing is, we don't know if he's wanting to hold out. We don't know if maybe he's set on playing for the Packers in 2021. We just don't know. But I thought this was something interesting to point out to sort of keep our eyes on as Packers fans in the next week or so. I'm hoping he wouldn't do this. It would just be, I mean, it would be sad. Then we would have no hope of him coming in 2021. Um, but I feel like he won't do this. Maybe that's me as a Packers fan, just hoping and like, just, just hoping it'll all work out. I bet lots of you guys are the same that I hope this doesn't happen. It would be sad to see this happen. Um, I really don't think it will. I really don't think it will. Maybe, maybe I'm just too hopeful, but I don't think it's going to happen, but it is a possible scenario. I thought I should just let you guys know, um, is like up in the air. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. If you guys have yet to subscribe, like the video as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one.